Assalamu alaikum folks my name is Yaz Zaidi you're watching the YouTube channel Mr Crypto and in today's video I'll show you how you can install the Y faucet v3 script on your website so currently if I refresh this domain you can see that I do not have any installation on this domain and now we are going to install that website so if you also want this script then you can contact me on my WhatsApp or on my Telegram if I do not hand over this script to you then i will make sure to upload it to your website and set up everything so once you go to the file manager then you will need to navigate to the domain root of your uh, domain now once you have done that as i have currently did that i am going to click on upload to upload the script file and uh, now i am going to click on select file and after that i am going to select the script so this is the first part of the script that I have uploaded now to upload the other parts also. So this is the uh, second part of the script that I needed to upload right now. Now let's wait for them to be uploaded and once the green check has been cleared then we are going to click on go back. As you can see they have been completely uploaded so now I am going to click on go back. And now I need to extract these into the domain root. First I did uh, the vf.zip and now I am going to do the y.zip. And once that's done, I'll download this data.sql file and I'm going to delete these files as I do not need them anymore. And once I do that, when I come to the website and refresh it, then you can see that it's giving me uh, warnings. So uh, severity warning, MySQLi. So basically what we need to do right now is to add, enter the database info into the script. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to head to the uh, database portion into the cPanel and now we're going to create a new database. So let's give the name Ytest and we're going to create the database. And now let's go back to create the database user. So let's enter the name as Ytest and the password for that we will use the password generator. So let's copy this password and ch uh, check this box. Now we're going to click on use password. Now let's hit create user. Now once the user have been created now we're going to click on go back and now we are going to link the user with the database. So this is the portion of add user to the database. Now we are going to select the database user, the y underscore uh, y test, and the database also y test. Now we are going to click on add. And now let's check on all privileges. Scrolling down, we will click on make changes. And once that's done, all the portion of the database right now has been done. What we need to do is we're going to go to the file manager and now navigate to applications, then go to config, then go to config.php. Now what we are going to do is we are going to enter the that, uh, domain for our website. So this is a test domain which I have used for my testing purposes not using it for a commercial purpose right now and now I will click on changes. After doing that the second thing what we need to do is go to the database.php and edit it. Now scrolling down we are going to enter the database credentials. So let's give the password what we copied right now and let's copy the user as we have the user and database under the same name so I'm going to paste them both as username and the database. Now click on save changes. And once we refresh our website right now, it will give us another error in which a database uh, table does not exist. So to solve that, what we're going to do is we're going to upload that data.sql file that we just downloaded with the script. So for that, go to the, your cPanel and search for PHP my admin. Now we're going to open that.
after opening the PHP my admin navigate to your database and then you're going to click on import after clicking on import you're going to select choose file and uh, go to your downloads folder navigate to your downloads folder and select the uh, database file which we just downloaded now let's click on go As you can see, the import has been successfully finished. So if we go to our website and refresh it, then it should give us the maintenance screen. So thank you for visiting us. We are currently making some changes or improvements. So let's go to the admin panel. So this is the admin panel. Let's add the username and password as admin admin. And once we do that, we are going to click on login. And with that, your website is ready and you can start earning money from it after you make the necessary changes. So to activate the website, we're going to click on settings and then faucet status, we're going to select on and now click on update. And once we do that, then our website should be active. Let me open a new tab and open the domain. And as you can see, the website has been installed, the Y faucet script and this is the home page. You can also go to the registration and login procedure, but I'm not going to do it right now. And this is the registration portion, and this is the uh, sign-in portion. One thing I also forgot to mention is that we need to edit a file within the view section, and then navigating to the user. Now we're going to delete this auto.php. We're going to click on upload. Now we're going to select file and now I'm going to upload the last part of the script. As you can see, I have selected the auto.php. That was the correct one. And now if I click on go back, then it should be here in the folder. And now your website is fully ready and you can use it. So this was all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, it's Allah Hafiz.